Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Today we're on our next uh, fiber for our fiber study this year for 2023. Uh, today we're going to be working with Corydale. Again, this comes from uh, Hearthside Fibers. It's part of their international collection. And again, I purchased this myself. I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, let's uh, get into it. Uh, so, according to this, um, this breed is from New Zealand. is about 25 to 30 microns. And uh, has a staple length of 80 to 120 millimeters or 3 to 4 and a half inches. So, let's actually take a look at the fiber and see what we got here. And then we will look up in the fleece, uh, the field guide to fleece. So, this is actually pretty soft. This is softer than that Corydale we got from Paradise Fibers um, in the last uh, one that I did yesterday uh, for uh, March 2023. But let's take a look. Let's pull off a staple length of that. Let me just pull off another one. So we're more in the middle. Go. Still looks pretty long. All right, so I've got my ruler here for my Dina Bean sock machine, uh, and it says my staple length here is four and a half to five inches long. I'm gonna say four and a half. All right, let me write that down, four and a half inches. Again, it is pretty soft, and I'm going to put some of this aside in my little envelope here, along with the card from this, just so I've got a sample of that in with this when we actually do the spinning. Again, I'm going to probably just do short, Backward strap, that's what I'm used to, and that's what works good for me. And I will be chain plying it as well, just because it's easier for me to do it that way than to try to do a two ply on it and dividing it up and whatnot. So let's look up the fleece in the field guide to fleece. Um, Corydale, that's what the sheep look like. They're kind of the average looking sheep. And I would bet. Any out there that most of you spinners that are out there have probably spun Corydale at least once in your life. It's a very common fiber, it seems. So, yeah, according to this, uh, yeah, origins from New Zealand. Uh, the fleece weight is 10 to 20 pounds. Wow, that's a huge, huge fleece. I think the one I got in the other room is maybe five pounds. I don't, wasn't that big. Which is uh, four and a half to nine kilograms. Uh, this says staple length is between three to six inches. So that's about right for what we had there. We had um, between four and a half to five inches uh, on that, uh, which is eight to 15 centimeters. It says it's 25 to 35 microns, which is uh, close to what the card said. That was 20 to 30. The natural colors are white, gray, brown and black so uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this uh, the reliable multi-purpose wool is a pleasure to spin knit crochet or weave its long staples at, and well-defined even crimp provide loft and elasticity and make it an excellent hand spinning wool within a single fleece of wool tends to be consistent in length crimp profile and fin finesse fineness I'm sorry Locks are normally rectangular and dense with flat tips. You can comb, flick, card, or spin from the locks. Cut the staples in half if you want to card fiber that is in one of the long side of for woolen preparation. Easier to spin than many wools of similar fineness, Corydell is also fairly easy to find in yarn form. Um, for dyes, uh, Whites take dye well. The grays and browns can be over-dyed. Okay. Best uses if you want to make sweaters, socks, pillows, blankets, and other household textiles. This medium-soft resilient wool is ideally suited for the task 
or felt there's just definitely a wool to experiment with. Okay, so it says here, Corydales were first imported by the USDA to the Laramie, Wyoming Research Station in 1914. Many sheep raised in the Falkland Islands in South America are Corydales, and Corydale wool is commonly shipped from Chile, although the port of Puena, Puenta Arenas, Puenta Arenas, also called Punta or PA. Okay, and I believe uh, just from uh, what little research I did, if you ever purchase the uh, Knit Picks Wool of the Andes roving, and it just says Peruvian Highland Wool, it's actually Corydale Cross. Um, that's what I found, and it's it's about the same as this to me, so I'm pretty sure that's about right. So, let me get my wheel set up, and then we'll uh, get this spinning.
So we finished our spin, our ply. It's the next day. The yarn has been wet finished. So let's take a look at this. This is what we got here. We got about 38 yards. Uh, this is a three ply. It's chain plied. Um, it does have a fair amount of drape to it. I'd say that's very nice. It is a bit squishy. It's got a little bit of elasticity to it. It's pretty good. Um, again, I, I imagine majority of you spinners out there have spun Corydale at least once. So, you know, it's really good to work with. Um, the, the fibers were kind of slippery in this, which means they drafted apart very nicely, um, in the comb top prep that we had for it. Um, no real issues with any of the spinning or anything in it. Um, would I spin Corydale again? Absolutely. I love this stuff. Would I go out of my way to buy it? Sure. If it's a good price, why not get it? It's a good yarn. It does um, feel soft. It's not scratchy. It's um, a good yarn overall. So I, I think uh, we're pretty good there with that. So next week, our next in line is Eider, E-I-D-E-R from Germany. So let's, um, let's see what we get up to then. So until next time, happy crafting.